and scary for some folks. How's this work week shaping up? Well, we actually have an opportunity for a few thunderstorms. Now, we're not really anticipating uh -huh. any severe weather, but yeah, we've had some of that as of late. We're going to see some heavy downpours coming in here. That's for sure. I think we'll have some of those by the time you wake up tomorrow morning and look out there right now. You will see skies, of course, dark, but lots of clouds and still some wet streets out there because we had some rain across the triad. Not as much rain fell in the mountains and foothills. And yes, there was some severe weather, too. You were just talking about that in Loris, a tornado touchdown also on Saturday, a touchdown in Kershaw down there just north and east of Columbia. So that tornado touchdown in Loris was at the high school, as you mentioned, around 1230 this afternoon. Thankfully, nobody injured in those cars in the parking lot. Thankfully, this was not dismissal time in that area. Now we don't have any severe weather on the map right now. We do have a little bit of lightning. As a matter of fact, it's right over Charlotte. So we'll watch to see if that holds together, pushing into Davidson and Randolph counties over the next few hours. Heaviest rains today have been along 95 and also along 77 to our south and to our east. But also in our area, we had some pretty substantial rains, about a half of an inch or more. You're looking at an inch total there from High Point back toward Lexington, but on average about a half of an inch for Scythe over toward Alamance. Lesser amounts in the mountains and foothills, but you got the fog, the low clouds and the occasional mist. For rainfall, we're sitting at a half of an inch at PTI Airport. We are doing well for the month of January. We are above normal at almost three inches of rain and temperatures, of course, above normal, right? Temps in the 60s and they're still going up out there right now. 48 is the average high for this time of year, which happens to be the coldest time of year for us. And the only time we have seen temperatures in the upper 40s was when we had our coldest day, and that was on January 2nd, and it was 48 degrees. So the warmest day happened yesterday at 72. Yeah, this is weather more like Vegas than here. We're going to see a big pattern shift, though. You know it's coming, right? The cold air is going to be moving our way toward the end of the month. So you see there January 20th through 28th, looking at colder than average temperatures across the eastern half of the nation and potentially coupled with wetter than normal conditions across parts of the Carolinas. We definitely have high rain chances in here tomorrow, specifically early in the day. And then for Wednesday, it looks like most of that rain takes place in the afternoon. Thursday right now looks drier and colder, and then we're going to bring back some wet weather late on Friday. The next couple of days, all because of this stalled out front and waves of moisture riding along it. Our rain for pre-dawn is over Atlanta right now. It'll be moving our way. We're going to keep the risk for severe weather out to our west, but that's that doesn't mean we wouldn't get an isolated thunderstorm. I think it's possible we could have a little bit of noise early tomorrow morning. You can see the rain right now, and it is plain old rain, light to moderate rain from Greensboro over to Burlington, also farther south along 85, down toward Lexington, and then even farther south and west towards Salisbury and then back towards Charlotte. So if you look at the triad, temperatures stay mild overnight. Notice how some of the heavier rain starts to come in. That's around five, six o'clock tomorrow morning, and then by eight or nine, most of that is passed through. We get more showers around lunchtime, maybe an isolated thunderstorm into the afternoon, and we'll keep that rain chance around. Now, you look at the forecast, those temperatures are going up. They're going to be in the upper 60s. It'll be breezy, and we're looking at most of the rain early in the day. Now, for our foothill and mountain communities early tomorrow morning, heavier pockets of rain, maybe some isolated thunder. That is about 6 a.m. Notice by lunchtime more showers around and then in the afternoon it gets a little bit drier so rain chances go down as temperatures go up but still an opportunity for a stray shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon as numbers are in the low to mid 60s so yeah it is unsettled for Tuesday and again on Wednesday a cold front comes in Thursday that brings us down near freezing by Friday morning wet weather on Saturday potentially wintry in our mountains thanks Lenny next